it's Nikki. So I think the Q&A went well. I think everyone was pretty satisfied with it. Um, I got some good questions. I feel like I gave some good answers. Uh, yeah, so maybe we'll do that again sometime. Um, and uh, a lot of you are really, really interested in this job of mine. And uh, I know that it sounds really, really cool and super maybe impressive or something like that. Let me just tell you about my day today. Just real quick before we get going on the haul, okay? And I'm in a different spot, sort of. Normally I'm slightly up there, but the sewing room is crazy because I have so many projects going on. So it's a little bit of a mess and I couldn't quite, there would be too much shuffling. Anyway, so today a bunch of the guys that I work with on the midnight shift got in trouble for torturing the maintenance secretary with farts. So for those of you who think that my job is super super cool and fun. Nope. That's what we do. Well, I didn't do it, but yeah. Yeah, about six of them got a good talking to for farting around the maintenance secretary because she was not having it. These are not 20-year-old men. These are 30 to 40-year-old men. So, that's my job. Okay. All right, so basically, let's see, what are we gonna do today? I have been collecting fabric and other items since Japan. I haven't really bought a large, well, I haven't intentionally bought a large quantity of fabric in a while. I, I did a little bit, but um, mostly it's like a piece here or there or you know, just not, nothing crazy, but it's been collecting. And so I didn't feel like I had enough to do like a haul, but now it's clearly, I think I, plus it all got mixed in with my other stuff. So I kind of feel like probably at this point I, I have enough to, to show you guys and some other odds and ends. Um, there's a couple of patterns in there and some tools that I found and I will do my best to remember where they came from, but I, some of it, it's been a while and I have lost any documentation that went with it. Some of it I still have, but not very much of it. Okay, so we're just going to do our best. And the projects that are going on like crazy right now are my Halloween costume. I had to stop doing my jeans to start that. I'm still in the process. There's pieces everywhere. Um, so hopefully I'll get that done soon and then I can finish my jeans and then I texted my dad and I told him that I had his some patterns for his um, shirt and I was going to make him a couple other things. I'll show you those patterns um, uh, during the, the haul. So um, yeah, so the sewing room is a little bit crazy, which is why I'm sitting on the floor right now. Um, and uh, what am I wearing today? Nothing you guys would be interested in. None of it is anything I made. I just got home from work and I realized if I didn't film something today, I was going to miss my deadline that I said I was going to make and I didn't want to do that if I don't have to. Like I didn't have a good reason to miss it. So here I am in a t-shirt and uh, a sp filthy sports bra. So you'll have to forgive me, but um, I'm still pretty smelly from work. So yeah. That's where we're at right now. Um, I did throw on some lip gloss though, and I did have time to grab a delicious beer because after a day where people, grown men get in trouble for farting too much, I feel like I get to have a beer at the end of that day. So here we are. Okay, so I kind of just went around my sewing room and I grabbed all of the things that I could think of that I had purchased since the last time we did one of these. So they're kind of all mixed in together. Some of them came from Fabric.com, some of them came from Fabric Mart, some of them came from Fabric Mart in person, and some of them came from the uh, Sewing and Quilting Expo. So um, I was all over the map, guys, all over the map. So we're going to get started here. I did try, um, I did get a little feedback about my autofocus not being so great, so I'm trying a different setting. So if it's better, please let me know, hey, that worked out so much better, I could see you more clearly more often, and I'll just use this setting from now on. But I've never tried it, so we're going to give it a try. 
Okay, so I'm going to try and grab the stuff from the expo because that's, I got some pretty specific stuff. So the first thing I will grab are these. These are um, silk, I think it's, I don't know exactly what it was. They're remnants and they're little, they're fat quarters basically of silk. And I think it's slubby. I don't know which one of the two tone silk types has the big slubs in it, but I thought that these would make really nice bias tape. So I got three of them. I can't remember how much I paid for them, but it was definitely an impulse buy, but I like to bind my seams on online things so I stuff like this always comes in handy for me so I have that from the sewing and quilting expo in Fredericksburg Virginia that I went to on a complete whim and then forgot to tell you guys about okay then another thing I picked up while I was there oh, there are piles over here um this lady makes these and I think she's got a patent pending on it but they're called wiggle weights um and she they're pattern weights but they're in like these long worm shapes and they're all different lengths and they're really heavy they're filled with like a coated lead pellet so I got this I, I can't remember how much I paid for them because it's been a while but yeah there's all these and I've used them already and I love them I love my granny's pattern weights but these are really because you can like bend them around like the curve of like your arm like if you're cutting out like a front you can kind of like set it around the curve and, it, and it's they're so heavy but they're really like non-invasive so you can see all the markings and stuff i've been using them to like trace patterns and stuff without having to use a bunch of tape and they are fantastic like i said they're heavy i don't know i don't know how, i'm not good at judging weight i'm not even gonna try but they're they're really heavy so uh super happy about that pardon me then I was at the scissor guy. I can't remember what brand. I did not save the little containers that they came in, but I got a new pair of hemostats because I use these from like my serger and I use them for something. I'm always grabbing them, but the pair that I had were really old. They were hand-me-downs um, from my mom and I think maybe they were my grandma's before that. So the, the teeth on them didn't really meet all that well. So they weren't super useful. So I got a new pair from that guy and then I also got a pair of thread snips right here these are pretty cool they got that like cool design on them I don't think that's oh let me do this thing that we do does that work yeah kinda so they're pretty cool they weren't I don't think they were too expensive but like I said I can't remember anymore that was like a month ago was it a month? I don't know how long ago it was Anyways, these are cool and they snip really, really good. And if I ever go back to one, I can have that guy um, sharpen them. So, oh man, there's just piles everywhere. I'm just going to grab off the top. I, this um, is Yellow Ponte. It came from Fabric.com. I This is one of the more recent things that I bought. And this is for my Halloween costume. So I got four yards of it, I think. Enough for a jacket and a pair of pants um and i i got all the this is i only have scraps left so because i got all the pieces cut out i just got to mark them for my halloween costume so i have that's the leftovers so that's what i bought from fabric.com and oh this right on top this also while i was looking for that um i came across this herringbone denim so let's see yeah really cool no stretch um but it's a nice weight it's not too heavy but it's not super thin either and yeah it doesn't stretch so I don't know what I'm gonna make out of this but I really really like is it herringbone or is it just I don't know I don't know if it's herringbone it might be herringbone you guys tell me if it's herringbone because I I can't think anymore it's been a long night so yeah, got that. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I but I like it. So the yellow in this came from Fabric.com, and that's the only things that I've ordered from Fabric.com. Okay, and then uh, what did I do? Okay, so again, and I'm sorry, Meowser is right here getting all up in my... There's her tail. She's all up in my business right now. Um, a couple of days ago, I went... I needed a pattern for this... 
Halloween costume and uh, simplicity. I feel like there was like weeks where there was no patterns on sale. Now, I only um, go to the Joann's, so that's, I, I even tried Walmart to see if they had the cheap patterns like, like Viv Mom's always finding and if you guys don't watch her channel, you should. I, I, if I can remember to, I will link it below because she's awesome. So, but I'm sure you do. She's very popular. So, but she's always talking about these Walmart patterns. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to Walmart and see, cause I was desperate. Like I needed to get started on this Halloween costume and I was lacking a pattern. So I went to Walmart. They don't even have patterns. They don't even sell them at my Walmart. It's very sad. So I'm very jealous of Viv's Walmart situation cause mine is not good. Anyway, so I had to wait forever for Simplicity to go on sale. So I got a bunch of patterns while I was there, but the ones that I specifically remember buying, um, cause I bought, I guess, like I said, everything's been all mixed up in everything. So I know that I bought men's patterns. So I will show you those three. Um, as far as the one that's in use right now, that is buried somewhere over there. Um, so that's the only one other one that I can confirm that I bought at that time. So for now, this is what I can remember. I thought my dad might like this jacket right here. This is Simplicity 8475. Um, so I think when I make him his shirt muslin, I'll make him a muslin of this jacket as well and just toss it all in the box as a sorry for taking a hundred years to do one small thing for him. And then I also picked up, this is, uh, Norris, Mimi G's man and, uh, looking very handsome here with his awesome shirt. And I thought, oh, I could just whip one of those up for my pops. He might like that. Um, so I'll just toss that in the box too. This is Simplicity 8613. And then this is the shirt pattern that I was going to do the Thread Theory shirt pattern because they have like a really good one. But I don't feel like printing it out at my house. I guess I could do PDF. What, we're going to give this a try. If this is a fail, then I will order the Thread Theory one and go with that. So I have this pattern for my dad to make him a shirt muslin. That is probably going to be at the end of the month if I even make it that far. <laughs> And finishing my stuff so but definitely if not like he is like third on my priority list for now um so yeah um so those are the three patterns that I can remember buying this weekend like I said they're all jumbled up in there okay let's move on I have way more fabric here then oh here's more sewing expo stuff so they had remnants Vogue fabrics was there that's where I bought all of my fabric at the sewing expo. Um, and I bought a bunch of remnants. I saved the rolls. I was smart enough to do that. So, um, but they have no information about what it is on them. So at least I don't think they do. A couple of them do. Okay. So, well, that's not going to be very helpful. So let me show you what I got from their remnants bin. I picked up some of this. It's really silky stuff. I It's some sort of poly satin, I think. So it looks like it's got like a chevron stripey kind of thing going on here. And it's in like these minty and ice blue, black, gray shade. There's some white in there. Um, I, this was, I think there was only two yards of it, but I thought it would make a really nice um, lining for something. So I bought it as a lining for what I don't know and then it's the same with this one which is like a satin a poly satin so right here I thought it would be good for a lining so and they were pretty they were pretty cheap like I said they were in the remnant section in these little rolls and I can't pick out which one goes to which I know one of these is fancy one of them's fancy. Then, so this was not a remnant, but this one I found on a roll in the Vogue fabric stand at the um, sewing expo. And it's a boucle, I believe. Now this, I believe, is the wrong side, but I like it. This, I think, there's a bunch of threads, is the right side. Now, I don't know which side I'll use, but I bet you guys, if the color showed up just right, I bet you guys can tell why I chose this. 
Did you guys see the neon pink thread in there? Because it's there. So I thought this would make something cool, maybe a jacket or maybe even like um, like a waterfall kind of jacket, like something, because it's very drapey and it's actually pretty soft for something like this. So um, I really liked it. So this one was sadly full price. What that price was, I have lost the receipt because this was not a remnant. Like I said, it picked it off the roll. Then... Uh, also this lady while I was there she was buying um, while I was waiting to get that cut which is the only thing I actually like picked off the roll uh, while I was waiting in line I saw another lady getting this stuff and I thought oh my god the things I could do with that and I started just having ideas and so when I got up to the counter I was like what is that I need to have some of it just cut me off I think I got like three yards and uh, I know, right? Super boring. And it's, it, this stuff is thick, but it's not super boring because one side is white and the other side is black. This is reversible. So look at what we got here. Now it does fray. It's not a knit. It looks like it's a twill weave, but it has stretch to it. Not much, but a little bit. So probably some lycra in there. So one side is white, one side is black. The weave looks like a twill weave but it has like a scuba kind of feel, but it's very stiff. I am thinking, I'm having lots of thoughts. I'm having so many thoughts that I already am overwhelmed with cool thoughts about this, but ah, it's cool, right? Like I just saw it and I was like, yes, no, 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 no. Sorry. Someone was about to eat a string and we cannot have that. I gotta keep an eagle eye on this cat. I gotta, like, I gotta make sure all the threads are off the floor all the time. Like, this place has to stay neat because Dummy likes to eat thread like an idiot. Well, she likes to eat fuzz, but sometimes thread gets mixed in. I can't have her do that. I can't have my, my precious baby go to the hospital because I'm, I, I can't clean up after myself. So I have to be very careful. So anyways, so I got a bunch of this and I'm super excited. I think I may have... I think this may wait until I just had a good chat with my mom and we might do another competition. So I'm, but I don't want to spoil it, but this is an option for that. But that's, that's a long time from now. Anyway, so I have big plans for this, but not for any time soon. Okay, so that was, oh, I have more remnants. Okay, so then this was a bamboo remnant, bamboo knit. It's a, just a jersey. Uh, really pretty purple color and it's coming up pretty true the colors pretty true on camera it might be a little bit more purpley in real life but yeah and it's it's horizontal I, I don't know why I was holding it vertically it is so freaking soft and it's opaque and it drapes so pretty I love it I think there was like two and a half yards here maybe just two um, that's enough to get like a t-shirt uh, or like a long sleeve t-shirt probably or three quarter length. I don't know. I'm sure I could squeeze something out of it, but it was so soft. I couldn't pass it up. They had so many bamboo knits, but I kind of, they were kind of pricey. So I had to just pick one, even the remnants were pricey. So, but I'm super, oh, oh, I just, I could touch it all day. And then this was another remnant. This is a rayon, rayon chalet and there's not much of it, but I thought it would also, it's, it's one of the more slippery ones I felt. And I thought maybe this might make a cool lining or maybe it might make a cool skirt, something, maybe a Hadley top. I don't know, but I thought it was very summery and cool. And I thought it'd be nice, even though I have to wait till the summer, you know, but it's, I like the colors. I like the, the, um, stripes of it. It feels nice. And I can't remember how long the remnant for this was, but it's probably something around two yards. That's about what they all were. And then this was the last remnant I picked up, um, which is a sweater knit. And it's got like a gold, it's black and cream stripes, but the black stripe has like a gold thread running through it. See that? So... I don't know. I thought it looked, it would make a cool, like, little card again. So this was also, I think, two yards. So that is what I got at the expo. This cat now is eating paper, which, that's probably fine. 
Anyway, so that's that's all the stuff that I picked up at the sewing expo. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, um, let's move on. So I made, I think I made one Fabric Mart order online. And I think it was really random. I can't see. <clears throat> okay, I think I recovered. You ever just, like, I'm that person in the movie theater who is always choking on popcorn kernels. I'm also that person where when there's pepper, like cracked pepper on the food, I'm always the person who inhales the pepper and then has a choking fit. I'm also the person who randomly just choke on my own spit for a minute. <sighs> that's just, that's just who I am. So, so funny story. Um, I was getting ready to leave the sewing expo and I thought, oh, I'm starving. I'm going to get a pretzel, like uh, the big pretzels. And uh, Angela Wolf was having her fashion show at the time. I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to sit here before I leave and I'm going to watch her fashion show and I'm going to eat this pretzel and then I'm going to get out of here. And three bites into the pretzel, I inhaled the salt and choked on a pretzel for almost the entire time that her fashion show was going and I felt like a complete idiot. So that's me. That's me in a nutshell. I'm the person who's always choking on something. So Fabric Mart, let's talk Fabric Mart. So I made one purchase online and um, let me see. Yeah, I made one online purchase, but all I can find is one thing. And I almost never just order one piece of fabric at a time. Even when I ordered that yellow ponte, which was all I actually needed from fabric.com, even when I did that, I still managed to find something else to throw in the cart with it. So I'm convinced that something else came in that order and I just can't find it in here. Guys, things are getting out of control very swiftly in my area. So, um, yeah, I've, the, the shelves no longer contain what has happened. But anyways, this is the thing that I got. This is a wool poly blend. I think it's like 60-40 or 55-45 or something like that. And it's a basket weave suiting. And it's pretty cool looking. So I like the texture on it. So um, it's like a deep purple. It's coming off a little bit more pinky purple here. Kind of like the bamboo knit was. But in real life um, it's more of an actual like plum purple color. So and it's got this black... It's pretty cool. Like, I don't know. Look at it again. Look at it again. Tell me how pretty you think it is. <laughs> I like it. It's a little bit scratchy, but I think it would make a really cool, like, lined, um, like, maybe like a lined sheath dress or something, or a pair of pants that had a lining, which I have yet to come across, but I'm sure they exist, or maybe a skirt with a line, or a jacket with a lining. So it's, it's a, it's not... It's got some body to it, um, but I really like it. It looks pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of like a crossword puzzle or something um, with the little, the way it's, what, I don't know what I'm saying. You, you get what I'm saying. So that was the only thing I could find of my online order. Um, and then, so last weekend, or yeah, this past weekend, uh, I, I went to a wedding, um, an out-of-town wedding, and it was in... Um, like the very top of Maryland, which is very close to Pennsylvania. And I thought, well, I'm going to be close to Pennsylvania. You know what's in Pennsylvania? Fabric Mart. So I thought, let me go and take a little side road trip to Fabric Mart and see what they got going on. Now, I didn't have very much time to go um, because I, I, was, I had to make it to the wedding on time and they were only open on Friday, so I couldn't go the day after and yeah, so I didn't have a lot of time, but I had enough time to buy some fabric. So let me show you what I got. I ended up with this. I think this is, I think this is a rayon knit, but it's like a burgundy and white stripe, right? But it had, the white stripe has these, the little like speckles in it. And you guys know that I cannot resist that. So can you see them there? It's like little confetti pieces. So... I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I got three yards of that. And it's, uh, 
yeah, I think this will make a cool t-shirt or maybe even like a t-shirt dress. I'm not, well, it's a little thin for a dress. I got, I can't be having all that stuff clinging in all them spaces, but we'll see. Probably a t-shirt or two. And then also they didn't have much of this. There was only one, one and three quarters left on the bolt, but I got it. It's a slightly stretchy, um, knit or not knit woven. Um, it's a bottom weight suiting, I think. And then it has this little pink stripe in it and a gray stripe. And I think this is, yeah, black, black, gray, and a little like coral colored stripe. Anyways, I just thought it was really cute. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I liked it. So one and three quarter yards. I don't know what that's going to mean for me, but so then there was this. And I, this is a Ponty, just plain gray Ponty, but it was great. Like it feels nice. It's like sometimes when you feel Ponty, like it doesn't feel nice. Like that yellow stuff, it was what I need for this costume, but it's nothing I'd want to wear all the time. But this stuff feels good. And it's just gray, really thick, really good stretch, really good recovery Ponty. And it feels like it's going to be the warmest thing ever. It feels heavy, like um, like the like when I put it here, it feels like I'm at the dentist getting the x-rays. Like this will be the thing that they throw on you. I like it. And they had a ton of it too, so I don't know what it's called. So I will say this, um, shopping on the website is shockingly easier than shopping in the actual store. So nothing is really labeled. They. Nothing is labeled, they all have the um, code on the end and you kind of have to just look it up yourself but everything I punched in I couldn't find so it was basically like a guess as to what I got. Um, so I don't, like I said, I don't have any fabric content for any of these. I think that stripe was a rayon, it feels like a rayon jersey but this I couldn't tell you what it's made out of and at this point I've lost the receipt so I couldn't tell you how much I paid for it either. I think it was something like 11 bucks a yard, I'm not sure. Now this is a linen, a very pretty linen. So it looks like a black linen, but then you get a little closer and it has this really subtle red sheen to it. And I thought this looked super cool. And then the back side is plain black. Like it doesn't, the red doesn't come through to the back. So I love this. I kept going back to it over and over and over again and thinking how cool it was. So, and it feels very Halloween. Now, this is the last thing. This is it, guys. This is the last of it. This is also a linen, but this has like a, this has like a shimmer to it, almost, well, no, I guess it kinda, it gives the appearance of like, um, like the two-tone, like, Dupioni or whatever but it's linen and it's a stripe. A very vibrant pink and blue stripe that kind of gives it like a purpley feel. But yeah, I loved it. I love the colors. So that is, oh, and it all, it all fell over. That's the haul, guys. Um, yeah, so hopefully the next time I talk to you, I'll have a finished Halloween costume and maybe um, maybe I'll throw you in a bonus video with the rant I promised you about um, the pattern, the indie versus big four patterns. I might do that for you and toss it out this weekend if I have time, but honestly, I'm going to be out of town this weekend. So yeah, I can just feel time slipping away. I feel like October is going to be gone so fast. I'm doing my best. Okay, that's all I got. Anyways, so I hope that was fun. I hope it was interesting. Um, let me know what you liked down below. I don't really have plans for any of this except maybe the black and white reversible one. Um, so if you think of something cool to do with the stuff, tell me. I always like hearing your suggestions. You guys come up with some really cool stuff. So I got tons of good ideas for that crazy pink and beige stuff that, that you guys just blew my mind with. So as always, you know what? Feel free to leave me any kind of comment you want. I love your comments. 
they make me laugh. So yeah, that's what I got. Wish me luck. Wish me luck on getting all of the stuff done that I need to get done and staying alive and well rested. All right, that's the end of that. I would show you Meowser, but she is currently settled into the pile of fabric here. And I just want to tell you guys that all of that was washed and folded and put away. So yeah, so I'll have that to look forward to. I might just leave it in this giant pile and wait till I have a minute to do it. So I might just put this pile in the guest room and shut the door and just not think about it until I absolutely have to. All right, that's it. That's, that's really it this time. All right, bye.